first gift of God is Jesus. Along with Jesus comes eternal life. Let's look at another one. This is in Ephesians chapter 2. Ephesians chapter, I'm looking at these verses that talk about gifts and the gift giving God. This is another very familiar, Ephesians 2.8, another very familiar verse. I'm looking for the verses that say, uh, talk about God's gifts. <laughs> Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. Just because it's familiar doesn't mean we can't read it again. Ephesians 2.8. The verse that we used uh, to put the, sign, the, the name on the sign for the church. Uh, for by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It's the gift of God. For by grace you're saved through faith. Not of yourselves, it's the gift of God. Before we talk about grace and faith, let's talk about saved. What does saved mean? Well, in the, uh, where did I look this up? In the Greek concordance, it means healed, delivered, and made whole. It's a very broad word. It's a word that doesn't just mean, now I'm not going to hell, now I can go to heaven when I die, which is included, of course, but it means bigger than that. It means healed, delivered, made whole. It's a very broad word. So by grace, you're saved, you're healed, delivered, made whole. You know, that, that says to me that what God is dealing out to people is on a gift basis. And to receive from God on a gift basis, you just come and receive. Does that make sense? In other words, God's not holding out on anyone. Saying, you've been a bad boy. I'm not going to give anything to you. <laughs> it's not like Santa Claus who's got a, get a list and he knows who's naughty and who's nice. <laughs> Against his standard, everybody comes up naughty <laughs> relative to him. Uh, but the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. For by grace... Listen, if we earned it, if we deserved it, it wouldn't be grace. It would be wages. By grace, you're saved. By the way, grace is what God does. Grace speaks of the attitude of the giver. By grace, you're saved. But notice that's not the end of the sentence. Through faith. God supplies the grace, but faith is what we supply. Faith means to believe in it, or to trust in it, or to put your confidence in it. So God reaches out with grace, with healing, deliverance, being made whole, salvation, everything He has, all the good things of God. He reaches out with those things, and they're free. Faith is what we do to reach out from our end and receive those things. Now, we don't reach out to grab God by the arm and twist His arm behind His back and force Him. <laughs> we don't have to do that. You know, I hear people talk like that. I'm going to take hold of God and I'm not going to quit praying until God moves. Listen, He's already in the, in the mind of moving. You know, He's already got a, a loving attitude towards each one of us. You know, what I think is, uh, what you do in, in response to a gift is just say thank you. Did you hear that? That's why when I pray, even when I'm asking for God to do something, and we do, you know, we have needs in our lives and we're right to bring those things to God. I always, uh, I tend to frame my prayers in terms of thanking Him. Because in my mind, I think He already, he already has a, an attitude and a heart to help me. He already wants the answer to be mine. So I just come and say, I thank you for whatever it is. You know, uh, some things we don't know. Some things we do, we have to. We don't know the answer to. Sometimes we just say, "I need wisdom." You know, I need help. But you know, uh, things that that we that we know are, are uh, things that God is offering to us. By grace you're saved through faith, not of yourselves. I like all these little expressions in this verse. It's such a great verse. Grace talks about God and His attitude. Faith talks about our response to Him. And then it says, "Not of yourselves." What do you think that means when it says, "Not of yourselves"? It means you don't produce it. It means not about you. I have a whole message, not about you. <laughs> because, you know, as a Christian, my experience as a Christian sitting on the other side of this thing, on the, you know, in the pew, my experience going to church, most of the time I end up feeling like it is all about me. <laughs> it's all about me and what I do and what I, you know. And really, uh, Christianity is not supposed to be all about you. It's supposed to be all about Him. He's the only one that's got the power to change things in our lives. He's the only one that's got the, the ability to make things be different. And it's He, you know, Paul says, Christ in you, the hope of glory. It's all about Him. What's about us is to trust in Him and to believe in Him. And that's true for everything. That's true for any situation. We, we should, our response to Him is to trust Him and to believe in Him. And give Him a chance. Give Him time to, to, to work. <laughs> 